what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS here in Fortnite chapter 3 season 4 and get the best possible performance out of your Windows PC. If you guys enjoy this content please don't forget to leave a like and also don't forget to join my discord guys we have over 73,000 active members so therefore if you need any help with your PC feel free to join there my mods will help you. Ever any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. So guys, and the tool which we're gonna be utilizing in today's video is Optimizer 13.9, which is the latest version of this tool, guys, which is gonna help us to fully optimize our PC for maximum FPS in Fortnite. And you can get it here straight up from my Discord, guys, or also if you wanna support me on my website, but yeah, on the Discord, just simply go on it, guys, and type in Optimizer, and you should find the channel from where you can get it. By the way, it might tell you here potentially dangerous, but that's normal on Discord, so therefore don't worry about that. But as mentioned, guys, if you want to support me, you can also get it from my website. It does have ads. I'm gonna keep it 100% real with you guys. You can also just like go on the website, click once on it, get like a small pop-up ad, you know, click like again onto it, and this does exactly the same thing. It's just here, you know, to support my channel for absolutely free. But as mentioned, you can get it here from FPS Boost as well, guys. And there you're gonna get the Google Drive link. But yeah, once we get it here on our PC, you know what I'm saying, we're gonna open it up here, click onto yes, and then it's already running in the background. It's checking like your PC specs and all the good stuff, you know. And once we're actually in the tool itself, guys, it will tell you here Windows and everything. By the way, it works as well for Windows 11, so don't worry, guys. That's why we have Universal and Windows 10, and I'm gonna keep it here on Universal. And basically, as we have it here already, optimize performance, disable network throttling, disable smart screen, error reporting, telemetry tests, basically everything which is on stock here enabled, you can be sure that it's not going to mess around with anything important on your PC. Meaning it won't cause any issues, it won't cause you errors, it won't change anything like how it works here on Windows, you know. So let's just say some functions which you use on a daily basis are not working. Don't be worried about that guys, everything which is here on stock already like enabled or better said check for disabling is gonna be 100% safe. Then you just simply gonna click here onto this purple check and apply it, which I of course already did so therefore I don't have to do it. And then in the next step guys we're going to click onto cleaner. And once we're in here now we have windows and there you can already see you can literally clean so many temporary data here. We have temporary files. BSOD, mini dumps, error reports, and empty recycling bin. And what are we going to do is we're going to check all of these here. These are basically like the most important ones because they have the most amount of temporary data, which can be as well corrupted, slowing down your PC. So therefore everything under Windows should be checked. You know, it's quite cool that they have like Google Chrome in here or all the other ones. I mean, it's just like a nice addition, you know, that you can like clean as well some more temporary data, but the most important ones are Windows. So therefore once you select these guys, click here onto clean and it's going to clear all of your temporary data on your PC. And what we can actually do as a final step guys is click here now onto startup and there you can see like all the programs which are launching on your Windows PC by default. And let's just say as an example that you see some tool here where you're like, wait a minute, I don't even want this on my PC. I don't want to start or some stuff like that. You can straight up select it. Let's just say as an example that I wouldn't want here face it maybe on my PC. I can straight up delete it guys or I can also find it in my registry to deactivate it or you can also straight up locate the file you know where it's like on your PC and what we can do is also like delete it yeah so therefore this is super nice guys if you have some programs you know on your PC which somehow got installed while maybe installing some other software you just simply have to check this like once in a while okay is there only programs running which I actually want on my PC and then we're also going to click here onto UVP apps guys and there we have it uninstall unwanted UVP application and there we now basically have all the tools on our PC which are not necessarily to run Windows itself what this means is guys we have Nvidia in here or we maybe also have Spotify in here Microsoft Xbox identity provider you know all of these which are not required so therefore what you can do here as well guys is click through this list and be like real quick wait a minute like a dope notification client I don't need it you can check it and uninstall it super easy as well guys and yeah once we're done with that we're just gonna click again onto this purple check and then we're gonna restart our PC and everything should be optimized fully for maximum FPS and I hope that this was helpful and for this next step guys what I want you to do is open up your Epic Games launcher here just simply tap it into your Windows search bar or you're probably gonna have access on your desktop and once it loaded up guys we have to wait a little bit and then we're gonna click here onto our name, click onto settings guys. And once we're going to scroll down all the way, we should see now Fortnite, where we're just simply going to click onto this small arrow and then we have no additional command line arguments. And you can see for me, it right now is here already opened. If it doesn't showcase it for you, just make sure the check is actually there. 
And now in the video description or in the pinned comment, I haven't decided yet, I'm going to put all of the most important launch options, which you should actually put in there, which are going to ensure that you're gonna have the best performance in Fortnite. Just simply feel free to copy it, put it in there, and just like make sure that there's like actually like a space between them, otherwise they're not going to work. We've got here stuff like land play, no splash, no texture streaming, and use all available cores. This is going to make sure that your Fortnite has the best performance possibly, and you're also utilizing all the cores on your PC as an example here from your CPU to get the maximum amount of FPS since Fortnite is heavily CPU based. And what we're then going to do is click here real quick onto the arrow. You can maybe even open it up, just check in if it's actually in there. Then we're going to back here into our settings. And what we now simply have to do is reset our Epic Games launcher and then it's gonna be applied. And every time before I actually hop into Fortnite guys, I open up Noping here and make sure that I enable the boost FPS mode and actually also the turbo games mode, which is going to reduce the input delay of my keyboard. And in addition to that guys, Noping can also help you to reduce the ping of any game you wanna play. As an example, if you're gonna search here for Fortnite guys, we can click onto it and it's gonna showcase me the best server in my near, which would for me now be here London 02. And you can see on London 02, I get only 23 milliseconds delay, whether on Frankfurt 17 or any of the other ones guys where I would get 26 milliseconds. So therefore this already helped me to get 3 milliseconds less ping guys and then we're only going to click here onto optimize game and we're already fully connected to the server with the least amount of latency in my near guys. Just simply let no ping run in the background, you can boost your FPS, reduce the input delay and get less ping. And by the way, with the link in the description, guys, and my code, you can get 20% off as well as the seven days trial, guys, and you can pay super easy via PayPal. So therefore, this is an amazing tool and make sure to check it out. And for the final tip now, guys, I want you to open up your GeForce experience just simply here on the bottom right corner of your screen. And once we're in here, we're going to click onto the settings icon here, and then we're gonna scroll down a little bit until we can find image scaling. And what this does is amazing, guys, because let's just say as an example that our native resolution would be 1920 by 1080. You can already see here, if we're gonna go down here a little bit with the percentage to something like 77% of 1080, which would be 1477 times 831, we can see now that our resolution is gonna be 20% lower and what image scaling does, even though your resolution is lower, it's going to work like with some sort of like background process that it's going to upscale your picture to still look like 1080 native, which means you're not gonna have any quality loss, but you're still gonna have the additional FPS boost of having a lower resolution. And as of right now, it doesn't really like support all the switch resolutions which are out there, which is kind of bad, but we have some here actually as presets which we can take. 85% off, 77%, 67 or 59% of the total of 100%, which means that this one would be 77% of 1920 times 1080 guys, yeah? Like that's always the base for 100% your native resolution. And then under sharpen guys, just simply leave it on the default one. And once you hop into Fortnite, you will see on the top guys like a small icon that's actually working and trust me it will help you out so much. And yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and as mentioned don't forget to check out No Ping and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome I'm out peace.